Uh, it feels, I mean, it's different. Like the first time you do it, you're real happy. And now it's like, it's almost just like an expectation of my of myself. And, and then the real fun starts when you make the team and you're competing for World Olympic gold medals. So I'm looking forward to training this summer and getting into that. Now from 2016, making it in Rio to now, what has changed maybe with the work ethic and maybe the style of play or anything? Has anything changed in how you prepare for these moments as you, as you make it through the Olympics? I'm always sharpening things up, you know, and I, I would say the number one thing that's changed is just my faith and maturing and God's been faithful to help me uh, grow in my character and, you know, it changes the way I look at people, the way I look at training and competition and helps makes me hungrier to rely on him because he's in control of all the results and he's the one that's blessed me with the, what I have in my life. You know, you heard with your 11th to make three Olympic teams. How does that stay with you as you think about that accomplishment? It's good. Yeah. Well, I mean, Lord, I always say I feel like I'm just getting started. I don't even feel like I've accomplished anything. Um, I'm hungry and motivated and I want to keep wrestling Lord willing for a long time, so I, I have a lot left in me. Um, I left, well, I mean, that was in 2019, I left Ohio State to go to the Midland Wrestling Club, so that was different, but you know, honestly, my life is like pretty obstacle free, <laughs> you know, like, I've, I lost at the World Championships last year, and I, I would say maybe people be more strategical when they wrestle me, like, Isaac's a good example, you know, he, he just wanted me to shoot so he could chess lock me and stuff like that. So that's what uh, that's what everybody in the world does. So I just have to get better at wrestling that style. Being more, I'm not, I'm usually just like a bull in a china shop. Like I just go in and I, I do whatever I want to do, but now I have to be a little more, have a little more strategy. Kyle, what's the biggest? What's the biggest to the wrestle and what impact it's had a great impact. I mean, really, it was a kind of a crazy story. My wife was applying to medical school all over the place, and then I was going to go wherever she got into school, and then she told me she wanted me to go to the best uh, training situation. So it was pretty easy to see that the Nitty Line Wrestling Club was the strongest uh, place I could go. And, uh, and then so we just moved, you know, and it worked out great. She ended up getting into med school too, so it was a blessing. Is Tajikina's rematch something you want? How do you see that match going if you get in Paris? I'm looking forward to it. I I know, uh, you know, he's, 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 it's, a, it's a tough style for me. I'd rather wrestle someone that wants to wrestle hard and can't fight. And that's, my, that's, that's what I like to wrestle against. But he's tall and he's waiting for me to shoot. So um, I'm going to train and get ready for it. And I'll be, I'll be ready to go. How much do you expect to grow from now to Paris? Ah, I think I'll keep getting a lot better. I mean, I keep getting smarter and, and knowing when to score and getting up through guys when I'm finishing. And so there's a lot for me to learn still. What continues to motivate you? My faith is the most motivating thing in my life. I I want to do what God wants me to do. And uh, if he told me to stop wrestling tomorrow, I'd stop. So it's his will. And uh, I'm going to do what he tells me to do. And, Right now, it's on my heart to be a wrestler. So I'm gonna train as hard as I can, I'm gonna live right, and uh, I'm gonna compete as hard as I can because uh, for some reason, he thinks it's good for me and he thinks it's good for other people, so I'll keep doing it. Kyle, nobody's life becomes obstacle free without help others. Yeah. So who are the people that kind of make it easier for you along this road? Well, the NLWC coaching staff, Honor, Kale, Cody, Jimmy, Casey, I mean, Mark, there's a lot of guys in there that help us just make life easy on the training and all that and we've got great training partners but my wife she's my best friend and uh, you know we never argue and uh, she cooks all the meals and she cleans up and so being at home is easy for me and my dad is one of my heroes and my mom and I talk I talk to my whole my brothers and sister every day so she's got a close relationship with my family and they helped me a lot. Did your wife finish medical school or did she want to do anything? We had a baby so okay. she uh she's in a gap year right now and then she's gonna get back. What's she wanna do? She wants to she was
was going to be in emergency medicine, but now she wants to probably be family in practice because it's a little more family oriented. Yeah. 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 It's been like that for a little while, but I don't think it's been so, so like clear to where now people are kind of just standing up and waiting for me to shoot, you know, and, and ready to, uh, to try and chess on me and stuff. So. It's good for me because I know what they're going to do. Like, they don't really want to, like, wrestle and shoot and stuff. Like, uh, so it's good for me to know what they're going to do. Thanks, guys. Congrats, Kyle.